Hello guys, Lego Master your reviews here, and today I'll be doing a review on the Lego Harry Potter set 76429 Talking Sorting Hat. This set has 561 pieces and retails for $100 in the US. You get one minifigure included in the set, that being Harry Potter, and with that out of the way, let's jump right on into this review. Starting with the Harry Potter minifigure, you can see it has some very short black legs, as well as a really awesome torso print there, and on the back of the torso you actually get a hood printed on there which is a very cool detail. I also really love the face print this minifigure has. It's very accurate to like that scene where he's kind of like really hoping to get into Gryffindor. So I like that a lot. It's definitely gonna be useful for like customs. Like looking at this, I think like Phoebe from Ghostbusters. So really useful head there. And on the back, you also get a very like excited face print of like him getting into Gryffindor. So that's very cool. And both of those face prints look great with the um, hat mold there. And speaking of the hat mold, this is super accurate. I love like all the detail on there. I don't believe it's exclusive to this set. I believe it has come in other Harry Potter sets. Sets, but still it's a fantastic mold and super accurate to the movies overall i think this is a really solid harry potter minifigure even though i believe the only thing exclusive on this minifigure is the face print i still don't have this like sorting hat mold in my collection yet and i feel like if this is a marvel set or like a star wars helmet set it definitely wouldn't have included the minifigure so really nice to see him included here and i'm very happy with it before we take a look at the hat i wanted to take a look at this really cool stand included here you can see get these very nice tiles with all the different like house logos which is really nice and these are actually all printed, which is just really cool. And it definitely makes the high price tag of this set feel a little bit more worth it. And they're all like super detailed prints as well. They're like with all like the fur detail in there. Like all of it just looks amazing. And I really like how there's studs in front of each of them. So you can put like Harry in front of Gryffindor, have like Cedric Diggory in front of Hufflepuff, and like Draco Malfoy in front of Slytherin. So I really like that as well. You also get this very nice gold outline where the hat will go. And I also really like how these like these gold like kind of like details in between these slow pieces too. I think that's very nice. And overall, it's just a much more high quality stand than you would see in like a normal helmet set. And the fact that these are printed is very nice. Now taking a look at the talking sorting hat. You can see you get a very nice sticker on the side there with some stitching detail. You also get this sticker here, which looks great. Um, and those are actually the only two stickers included in this set. So these two pieces here are actually printed, which is very nice. And it kind of gives me like Scarecrow vibes from DC. I also really like the face here. I think it looks really great. But the only thing I don't really like about it are these like two Technic pieces here. I get it was kind of necessary in order to make the eyebrows move, but it's just kind of distracting with those two pieces there. But the eyes look great. I think the mouth looks great. Even the nose looks really great. But just those like those little two pieces there and the eyebrow are kind of distracting. Um, other than that though, you can see you get this very nice mold up here. that actually kind of like makes the entire mouth move but this mold here itself looks um really great i'm not sure if it's new or not i don't think it is but it does look really great it definitely works here and when you move that down it actually makes the um, hat talk so that's really nice um another way to make the hat talk is actually down here and you hit this piece and when you do it makes the hat talk which is really nice you can see um there is a lot more colors down here but when you have the stand on there you really can't see it. and even if you don't have the stand like you're not going to be displaying it like that so it's really not that big of a deal um other than that though like the sides of the hat aren't really that detailed but you can see you get this like nice kind of like rock piece here which is like a really like a creative use of that because normally this is like a rock or like boulder piece but the fact that it's being used here is really great kind of gives a set more of like a rugged look it's also used on the other side which is very nice and you do kind of build these pieces here like this one's pointing up and this one's pointing down and once again it kind of just gives it a bit of like an uneven look which is really cool and creative um but yeah the other side is basically identical to the other side other than like that sticker there but it does look really cool you have that same rock piece and on the back of the set you can see you get these two pieces here that are actually movable so that's nice you, know, you can also see these hinges there and when you move that down you actually get a look at the new sound brick which i believe this is the first set to include it which is really cool you can actually move this down it actually moves the brick and that's kind of how the whole like set talks so i'll show you like when you move the top you can see this brick moves and when you do that yes. i think that's very cool and it's just a really creative way to like kind of like show like the builder how the whole thing works and like kind of like show off to your friends how the whole set works i think that's really cool how they're kind of made a window into like looking at it you can also remove this piece up here you can move this giant cone piece and when you do you actually can see the four different artifacts of the houses which is really cool and like some of them sit on clips and others are on studs so you can see there's kind of like an exposed stud um, where this one is sitting but regardless i think that's really cool a super cool detail that definitely wasn't necessary but the fact that it's here is just really cool and creative um and then you know, it kind of gives you a better look at how like the whole set works so you can see like this giant like technic piece and we move that down so i think that's really cool and the fact that that's here is really awesome and it's just something you probably wouldn't seen like a star wars set so i think that's very cool um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about the set. Like, the hat itself does look really great, but I will admit when I was building it, it definitely felt a bit smaller than I was expecting. Like, when I was done, I was like, this doesn't feel like a $100 set, and it definitely feel like these big brown pieces might um, be part of that. Like, I feel like these really large brown pieces 
brought up the um, price of the set a lot, but above all else, this sound brick definitely brought up the set a lot. Like this is probably like 10 or $20 of the entire price in my opinion. I feel like if this sound brick wasn't here, this set would probably be like a 60 to $80 set. And it's just kind of unfortunate that Lego is really gonna be charging a lot for this, but still it's a really cool feature of the set. I'd love to see it used in other sets like Star Wars sets, like, like TIE Fighters or like, maybe like X-Wings, like I think that'd be really cool. Even like the helmet sets, like have Darth Vader breathing or something would be really cool, but still really pricey for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the hat itself looks great. It's gonna be a great display set. And overall, um, I think it's a pretty cool one, but definitely smaller than I expected. And I feel like the sound bricks really bringing that price up. But that's gonna do it for my review on the Lego Harry Potter talking sorting hat. Overall, I definitely feel like this is a very cool and unique set. And I feel like the sound brick will definitely branch off and the other themes like Star Wars ships and like Star Wars helmets, even Marvel and DC sets. But at the same time, I feel like Lego thinks an awful lot of that sound brick. Like I feel like this set would be like 70 or $80 without that sound brick. So um, definitely a bit overpriced, but at the same time, um, I do think if you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll definitely enjoy it. And it's a fun set to kind of like just play around with, but I'm um, still very overpriced. And I feel like there's cheaper Harry Potter sets that include more minifigures and just more iconic builds that might be worth getting before this. And I feel like if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, you definitely won't enjoy this set. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of this set. I would personally give it an eight out of 10. It's definitely worth picking up, but on a sell. Um, but again, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And thank you so much for taking the time today to watch this video. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this review and have an incredible day.